asked was was point three about concealing your intentions and yeah. I, I find this curious because I've never really known where to land on this when people ask me for advice on the subject matter about how much of your hand should you show, whether it's in business or life or whatever. There's a there's a group of people that think you should always just keep everything you're doing and your intentions totally secret because then people might copy you or they'll attack you or whatever. And then there's another school of thought that says when you're building something, when you're doing something, when you have a mission, you need to share it with as many people as possible because that will galvanize people to to come along with the journey with you and they'll want to support you and help you. So when I read um, point number three about concealing your intentions, I wanted to, to ask you about what, what you think about that, which side do you land on? Well, everything depends on circumstances. So the laws are never meant to apply to every situation, right? So when it's with your own team, and you're trying to inspire them, and you're trying to give them a vision, you try to get them on your side, yeah, you share your vision with them. You share, this is where the group is going. This is where I want things to be in three years. Let's all get together. We're trying to do something very positive for the world. Okay, here we're, here's my plan, right? But then there are circumstances where revealing everything that what you, about what you're planning to do is actually very counterproductive, right? So the business world, in the 21st century is extremely competitive. It's getting worse and worse by the day. As more and more people now are entering the power arena, and I think it's a great thing, where it used to be just a realm where only older white men had power, and now it's the doors have opened to everyone. The comp level of competition is that much more intense, particularly now even with the internet. You have rivals out there. You have competitors out there. Even as we talk right now, maybe you're not thinking about them, but they are. They're, they're going to steal your ideas. They're looking to take your business away from you, et cetera, et cetera. Just be aware of that phenomenon. And just always saying what you're planning on doing isn't always the wisest thing to do. Sometimes if you're in a tricky situation, making putting people off the scent and giving them a red herring and saying, I'm planning to do this when in fact you're planning to do that. It's a very powerful technique. It's deception, but all's fair in love and war and business, I'm, I'm afraid. So, you know, there are moments where you don't want to lay all your cards out on the table, right? You want to either create a little bit of mystery so that people don't know what you're going to do next and they're wondering what you're going to do next. And as they're wondering what you're going to do next, they're kind of on their heels a little bit. What's the next thing that, that, that Stephen is planning? I don't really know. Wow. You know, it makes, it, it's a very powerful approach. There are other times and other experiences and moments in life where you do want to reveal what you're planning to do because there's a purpose behind it. I'm just saying, be aware. Don't just act in this world. Be aware, have a strategic mindset. Sometimes, Concealing is what you need to do. Sometimes not concealing is what you need to do.